Uh, it's not for another math. Easy solution. Turn to discuss uh, further into limits and infinity and horizontal asymptotes. And now look at the precise definition. My earlier videos, I went over the general definition and also uh, just do, I've also went over some examples on this. But now I'll go over the precise definition. This is similar to my precise definition of a general limit. You can see that in the video links yeah. below. Yeah, and the definition basically states, uh, well, let f be a function on uh, defined on some uh, interval a to infinity. Then th the notation, this means uh, limit as x approaches infinity of this f of x function is equal to l. So that's the limit at infinity. And this is a horizontal asymptote. And this means that for every uh, number, let's say epsilon greater than zero, so we just doesn't matter what it is, there is a corresponding number n such that the absolute value of f of x minus this limit is less than this epsilon yeah, whenever you have x is greater than n right here. So this is a similar definition to uh, the precise definition of a limit uh, in the video. You see that video link below. But basically, to illustrate this, I'll just draw this. It may sound just a bit abstract, but it's pretty straightforward once you uh, once you look at it visually. Yeah, so if we look at this just random uh, fx function, which has a limit at infinity right here, so as you can see, it's approaching some limit right here. And now to illustrate the uh, definition of the limit, basically, we if we draw this limit uh, right here, let's say that this function is getting closer and closer as you're going to infinity to this uh, red line here. This we'll just call this L. So that's the value here. Yeah, so now if we apply the definition or basically what the definition is saying is that if you have just this epsilon, this could be any number. So we'll, this is we'll just put this here for now. So this is any number saying so now the difference between f of x and L right here. Yeah, it has to be less than this delta, I mean this epsilon number here. So we just draw this epsilon across like this. So what this means is that yeah, whenever x is greater than n right here. And now if we just look at this, the only time this is true in this case is when this this uh, line, if we draw a vertical line down from here. Yeah, so I've drawn one uh, right here because this one is where this intersects right here, and this is going to be now well our n value. So now whenever x is greater than n, so on this side, so we'll have x greater than n, we're going to have f of x, because so any value here, so f of x minus this limit is going to be here. And that's less than this delta. So this value is always less than delta. As you can see, it's always going to be less than delta right here. Now the idea of the definition is saying now this could be any number right here. So let's just say we had an even smaller delta. So if we had a smaller delta, yeah, so now if we do choose just a, a smaller uh, this epsilon right here, because the number doesn't matter what it is as long as it's greater than zero. So we choose one really, really small compared to this one, which is big here. So now if it's right here, then in order for the definition to see if it applies, well, we just look at where this will have a, well, basically where this n value is going to be. And now, now the f of x is min minus l is always going to be less than delta when it's greater than this side right here, because at this intersection point, and every single time this difference is getting closer and closer to the limit, but this is always less than this total length, this ep this delta. So at x is greater than uh, n right here. So this is uh, yeah. So n basically is larger than previously. Uh, so there's n initially because with a bigger delta because n is de dependent on delta whatever it is so uh, so basically now from this if we made delta even smaller all it's going to do is get closer and closer to this assume this is going going down assume yeah it's going down assume uh, like that so basically if you get uh, smaller and smaller delta you're going to get bigger and bigger and and it's basically going to go approach the limit so that is basically the definition of or well, the precise definition of an infinite limit yeah, now uh, similarly, if we look at limits at negative infinity, well, but it's, it's, it's going to be the same, uh, basically almost the exact same thing, except now it's a, just a slight difference here. Uh, let f, here's the definition, let f be a function defined on some open uh, or some interval, negative infinity to a now instead of a to infinity. And then basically you'll have limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x equals a limit. And this means that for, again, for every epsilon greater than zero, there's a corresponding number n such that you have absolute value the difference between f of x minus l is less than this epsilon whenever but now now the slight difference is x is less than n right here so if you already draw a limit as uh, yeah as x approaches negative infinity so in this case right here so here's this function f of x this is a bit different than the other one it's not a wave like function it's just straight like line like this straight curve so it's approaching this limit l <coughs> 
and then based based on the definition if we have an, a number uh, epsilon uh, basically the difference between this function at f of x and l is, is always going to be less than this yeah so like this difference is always going to be less than this epsilon which is this full value whenever you are basically less than n right here so x less than n so or any word here and you can make this as small as, as you want and all you can do is just going to increase or make n more negative or smaller smaller well uh, anyway that's all for today I hope you learned from this uh this abstract definition of uh, or precise definition of, a, of a infinite I mean limit at infinity or horizontal asymptotes remember all these limits are horizontal asymptotes well that's all for today remember you can always download these notes in the dropbox link below and stay tuned for another math easy solution